YouTube. What's good, guys? It's your boy TD, and I'm back again with another video, guys. And today's video is going to be on the waiver wire pickups. Yes, guys, waiver wire pickups. And I'm going to give you five guys in each position that you should be picking up off the waiver wire. So, listen, this is no particular order. It's just all in who do you like because I always like to leave it in your hands. It's your prerogative. It's your team. And I'm not going to be disingenuous by telling you who you need to pick up over other people. So, I'm going to give you five guys and whatever guy that you like, you pick them up. And I'll, if you want to ask me another question, say, well, TD, who do you prefer over this guy? Then, yes, I can help you out. So, make sure you... uh. Comment on the video and also smash up the thumbs button, guys. And also subscribe to my OnlyFans. Yes, guys, my OnlyFans, where I'm giving you personal con personable content and also assessing your lineups, giving you trade targets, and giving you great starts and sits. And also, I'm providing a lot of content, guys. And I'm almost at a thousand subscribers. Only been doing this for a, th uh, a little bit over a year, guys. So thank you for tuning in. So let's start. Let's start with the wide receivers. Yes, I'm going to start with the wide receivers. So, the first guy that you should be picking up is Robbie Anderson. Yes, I said what I said. Robbie Anderson, guys. And the reason why is Robbie Anderson has been playing with a herky-jerk quarterback uh, as in Sam Darnold. Sam Darnold? So, <laughs> so Sam Darnold is herky-jerky. Listen, I thought he would be fine, and he did what he could do for Matt Rue. Matt Rue squeezed everything out of Sam Darnold that he could get. But the injury, Sam Darnold just going through a lot of stuff in New York. He might be damaged goods, and I hate to say that. But, yeah, I like Robbie Anderson. So pick up Robbie Anderson if you're looking for wide receiver. Another guy that you should be picking up if you need a wide receiver is Traquan Smith from the New Orleans Saints. Yes, I said what I said, New uh, Traquan Smith. Listen, Traquan Smith uh, has been hurt the first six, seven games of the season. He's coming on, you can tell. He's getting hyper-targeted over Marquez Callaway. So I think he might be able to take Marquez Callaway over as the number one guy for this team. Um, so, yes, be picking up Traquan Smith. Moving on. The, another guy that you should be picking up is MVS, Marquez Vandas, uh, Valdez Scantling. Yes, from the Packers. MVS. Listen, guys, he's the deep threat on this team. They're going to double Dev Devontae Adams. And they're going to be coming down in the box to stop A.J. Dillon. And also be trying to stop uh, Aaron Jones when he come back for his, uh, as a satellite back, him coming out the backfield for targets. So who's going to get one-on-one -on -one coverage with a weak corner? MVS, a deep play. So this is a flex play that you don't, you're not worried about if he does you. If he does you, who cares? But if he hit, game over. I, I got this week, right? So this is what MVS is. So go be picking up MVS, guys. I think he can be a league deciding player because he could be giving you that boom. He could be giving you a 60 yard or 40 yard touchdown every week. No, he might not get eight, nine catches, but he might get three catches, one for 60 and one touchdown. So, so MVS. So, uh, two other guys, guys, the next guy is Deandre Carter from Washington. He's the gadget guy. Um, I just like him. I think he's very explosive. Um, they use him the way San Francisco used Debo a little bit, uh, maybe Tyreek back in, in his early days. So he's a he's a gadget player. But uh, it seems like Taylor Haneke or Tyler Haneke is trying to get DeAndre Carter the ball, especially with uh, Ricky Seals going down, Logan not ready to play. DeAndre probably would get some extra targets, five to six targets a game. Um, this is just a long shot guy, but I do like him. Uh, the next guy and the last guy but not least is Kendrick Bourne. Now, um, Matt Jones is getting better. As Matt Jones get, gets better, these offensive targets will get better. Better. Uh, these offensive weapons will get better. Uh, Kendrick Bourne is a good receiver. Um, they paid him as that. He's solid. And I think he can be uh, a, a wide receiver three or full X worthy guy. And I think he's going to be six or seven targets because Matt Jones is getting better every week. Matt Jones is probably no longer a rookie anymore. After about eight, nine, or ten weeks of starting and playing in the uh, preseason, you no longer are a rookie. You can command offense. You can call the strong side. You can call the blitz. You can do all these things. So I like Kendra Bourne. So let's move on, guys. Let's move on to quarterbacks. So, five quarterbacks that you should be targeting, no particular order. The first one is Cam Newton. I said what I said. Cam Newton. And, guys, the reason why you should be picking up Cam Newton is Cam Newton is coming into this offense where they know what he is and they're going to accentuate his talents. What I mean is goal line, 
Christian McCaffrey, yeah, you're not going to get a lot of goal line targets, not as much as you did before when you was healthy. Now it's going to be Cam Newton. He's like a fullback playing quarterback. He comes from that era, him and Tebow. They they both were used in, in this way. So if Cam Newton could be a guy where he throw for one touchdown, maybe to Robbie, maybe to DJ, and then uh, he run two in himself or maybe run one in. But his upside is crazy. Um, He should be giving you at least 20 points in most formats. I don't know your scoring format, but 20 points is very valuable. Um, so move on. Matt Jones. Who? Matt Jones. Who? Back then they didn't want me. Now I'm hot. They all on me. Matt Jones. So listen, guys. Matt Jones is getting better. Like I said, he's no longer a rookie. So this is a quarterback that you should be picking up. This guy is commanding the offense now. He, he's one of the best readers of the field that I ever seen as a rookie. Justin Herbert was really good, too. Justin Herbert might have been just a little bit better, but Matt Jones is really good, too. Um, he, and he's playing with Josh McDaniels and Bill Belichick. So you know how they are. They're great coaches. So moving on, Tyrod Taylor. Yes, I like Tyrod Taylor. To me, if he would have been, if he never would have got hurt and he'd been with Houston the whole season, I feel like Houston would be in contention. Not saying that they would be undefeated or anything, but they would be in contention for a playoff seed. I said what I said. He was playing really well. Um, so I think as more as he played more and more, he's going to get more acclimated. He's going to start doing what he did in the beginning of the season. And guys ride this wave. Uh, so another quarterback is Jimmy Garoppolo. Jimmy, um, I got to give it to him. I don't think Trey Lance might not see the field this year. Uh, San Francisco might have a chance to win the playoffs, especially what's going on in Seattle. So uh, Jimmy is willing to deal in. He's a safe uh, floor guy. I think he's got one of the best uh, floors of any quarterback that I'm talking about today. So go pick up Jimmy Garoppolo if you need a quarterback. Last but not least, this guy's more of a stash guy, but you can still go get him on the waiver wire, and you might not have to spend a lot of uh, fab or a high waiver priority on him. It's Taysom Hill. I said what I said. Taysom Hill. So listen, guys, I've been, I have made videos about him. Go stash him now before they move from San, uh, Trevor Simeon. Because this is my, this might happen, and this might give you the little boost to win you a week to put you in the playoffs because it's getting close to the playoffs, right? So Taysom Hill is a, a dual-threat quarterback. Dual-threat quarterbacks easily score. They easily give you that four that you're looking for, which is 20 points. So go stash Taysom Hill. Go pick him up. So let's move on to running backs. So, guys, the first running back that you should be picking up, and it, I'm, I'm, I doubt if he's on your waiver, uh, waiver wire, but if he is, you got to go get him and spend everything, almost everything that you got, is Remondre Stevenson. I said what I said, Remondre Stevenson. Um, I don't care about Damian Harris. Um, as the year go on, they'll be splitting 50-50, but Dan, uh, Remondre Stevenson probably will get a lot of the goal line. Unless Damian Harris comes out there and says, I'm, I, I can kill two and get 120 yards, I think Ramondre Stevenson has a chance. So even if he doesn't get the full workload, he's worth a stash having him on your team. Don't let nobody else pick him up. You got to go get him. Um, moving on, Mark Ingram. Yes, Mark Ingram. Listen, Alvin Kamara, they said it could be a high ankle sprain, could be a knee. Who knows what it is? Whatever, he's going to be out for a while. He could go to IR, maybe not. But Mark Ingram on this offense because of Sean Payton, Sean Payton he's going to be fine. So, he's going to have plenty of goal line opportunities. So, to me, Mark Ingram, go pick him up, too. Uh, uh, next guy is Kenneth Gainwell. Now, listen, Kenneth didn't get the road that we all thought he was get once uh, Miles Sanders went down. But who knows? If anybody goes down on this offense, Kenneth value is going to pick back up. So, this is just kind of like a stash play, but it's not that many running backs out there. So, I'm just telling you to go pick him up in case something happens in this backfield, somebody catch COVID or anything like that, you can have Kenneth Gainwell. Moving on, Wayne Gallman. And the reason why I'm talking about Wayne Gallman is CD, Cordell Patterson, the hybrid himself, is going is had an injury. And it seemed like they used Mark, uh, I mean, not Mark, but uh, they would use Wayne Gallman and Mike Davis. To me, they might use a little bit more Wayne Gallman because Mike Davis doesn't look that good right now. And I got to accept that. I'm, I was one of the guys that was on uh, Mike Davis, and I, I was wrong. So I have to take that. I have to take my months, and I'm fine with that. But Wayne Gallman is a guy that's going to be in the committee. Uh, he probably will get the goal line uh, touches. Um, so this is a guy that you can pick up. I'm not saying he's the number one player off the waiver wire, but he's a fine player. So this is a guy that you might need to go and try to see if he's on your waiver wire and pick him up and stash him. Uh, last but not least, guys, and there's only four, uh, well, there's five guys. So last but not least is Jeff Wilson. This is another high priority guy that I think you need to get. Elijah Mitchell has a broken finger. I'm not saying he's going to be out this week, 
But if he has a break, broken finger, he might not get used that much. Jeff Wilson looked good, um, so you got to go pick him up. Kyle Shanahan loves Jeff Wilson. He's been loving him for last uh, last year and going into this year, but he was just injured. So go pick up Jeff Wilson. All right, so let's move on to tight ends. Uh, so, guys, the first tight end I think you should go pick up is Adam Trout. He's been hyper-targeted. Everybody liked him in the beginning of, the, of this year, but people was like, well, at the two games, well, what's going on? So we kind of dropped him and moved on. But now it seems like he's picking back up with Trevor Simeon being in the game. And who knows, probably with Taysom Hill, but if he gets to a uh, starting road. So Adam Troutman is the guy that's getting like six or seven targets the last couple of weeks. Go pick him up if you need a tight end, if you don't have anybody else. Uh, the next guy is O.J. Howard. Now listen, they didn't even use, O.J. Howard didn't even have a catch. But if the Gronk is not out there, O.J. Howard will have a game where he gets targeted. So go go pick up O.J. Howard. He's part of Tom Brady. Anybody part of Tom Brady, if you need a long a streamer or a, a long shot guy, O.J. Howard is that guy. Next guy is Tommy Tremble. I said what I said. Tommy Tremble plays on the Carolina Panthers. With Cam Newton being there and, and he loves tight ends, I think Tommy Tremble is going to have a role. Um, he's athletic. He can run. That's why they traded Dan Arnold away. Dan Arnold was a good player, but they was like, no, we got two guys. We can get another draft pick and then put Tommy Tremble in that position. So that's why they got rid of Dan Arnold because Tommy Tremble is a, a good player and he's very athletic. So I like Tommy Tremble. And last but not least, I only got four tight ends, guys, because it just wasn't, I wasn't going to name a garbage guy just to name him. It's Gerald Everett. And I said what I said. Yes, Gerald Everett. And listen, Gerald Everett with, with um, with Russell Wilson struggle, Russell, last name Wilson, with him struggling this week, he hyper-targeted Gerald Everett. Gerald Everett was getting targets when Russell was fine. So I feel like Gerald Everett is a nice pickup, a nice tight end uh, play. So if you need a tight end, like they all volatile other than the top two to three guys. So Gerald Everett is just as good as anybody. I said what I said. Gerald Everett is as good as anybody. So guys, thank you for tuning in to Fantasy Good Sports for this Wave of Wire video. I will be doing more videos, not always lives, because I, I need my videos watched a little bit more. I feel like videos are not so long. They're more concentrated into what I'm talking about. So guys, make sure you uh, smash the thumbs up button. Also, subscribe to the channel if you're new. This is Cutting Edge content. And also, my OnlyFans is Cutting Edge content. Go to my OnlyFans. And no, guys. I'm not taking off my clothes. I'm not doing anything like that. I'm providing fantasy football content. So, guys, go check me out on, on uh, fan, uh, OnlyFans. And also, guys, Super Draft Pro. The link will be in the description. If you love playing fantasy sports and you want to be a, a pioneer, the first to be on a platform to get all these benefits, hit me up in the comment section and let me know.